Hello stars, welcome back to a new video. Today, I will be doing a tutorial on how I make clothing using Pixlr. By the way, helpful links and videos will be in the description. So, first, go the Pixlr.com. Next, you will need to download the clothing templates that Roblox provides. Okay. So first I will be showing how to make shirts. Once you are on the website, click on open image. Find and choose the shirt template that you downloaded. The top of the template is for the torso, while the bottom is for the arms. You can see a reference diagram. Once you are here, you can choose the color that you want your clothes to be. You can see that one color is on top of the other color. The color on top will be the border while the bottom color will be the interior color. In order to add the shirt background, click on the plus and choose empty. Now, click on the shape tool and choose draw. I always choose no border when I make the shirt, so I make the outline value equal to zero. Now, click and drag to make a square. Go over to range. Choose free, and resize the square to fit. Also, you can resize items with fixed mode. There is a clear difference when you resize between free and fixed. But use free to fill in the sections. Now duplicate it to fill in the other sections. Click the three dots, and choose duplicate layer. Drag it and fill in the other sections. Also, I don't recommend that you fill in these two sections because that's where the hands are and if you cover it then it won't really look like a shirt. Also, make sure to rename the layers. By the way, the top layer shows above the others while the bottom is below the others. Now for designs. First I will show text. Click on the plus, but instead choose on text. Under the text tool, you can change the font type. Font color, font size, format, and style. Go back to arrange and reshape the text box size so that it can fit the front or back. If you want to change the font style but can't find a good font, then go to daffont.com and find a font style you like. Also, you can type in the preview text of the text you want on the shirt, so you can see the style better.
choosing the font you want is important because sometimes when you decrease the font size, the font style makes it look very pixelated. Once you are happy, you can lock it in place so that you don't accidentally move it. The second design is image designs. If you go on Google to find a design, type in PNG at the end. Click on Tools, Color, and Transparent. Either copy and paste the design or download it. If you copied and pasted the design then just paste it. If you downloaded the design, then click on plus and choose image and find the design. The last shirt design is self-made designs. If you want to make self-made designs then I recommend opening an empty template. I do this so that the shirt isn't ruined, then play around with the tools. After you finish your design then click on file. Save, and rename. Then go back to your shirt and import a design. I would highly recommend that you make your own designs because it adds customization. Once you have finished, then it's time for the collar. Make an empty layer. Move it to the top. Click on the shape tool. But instead click on circle, unclick on fill, and change the outline value to 4. Then click and drag it to make it fit the top part of the shirt. I like to resize the width to 60 and height to 50. Then lock the layer. Now, click on the top shirt layer, the one under the collar. Click on the marquee select tool, choose the circle and make it a bit smaller than the collar. Now choose the arrange tool, click on the backspace key on your keyboard and drag around, until the outline is left. Be careful not to click on the circle because this could happen. If you make a mistake then just undo. Once you are finished, click on select and deselect. Click on the shirt template and delete it. Import one with transparent sections. Now you have a shirt ready to be uploaded. Now, I will show how to make pants. I'll try to make this quick, since it's kind of like how to make shirts. But, instead of choosing the shirt template, choose the pants template. Like making a shirt, insert a square, you can resize it to fit.
It's important that you fill in this part because if you don't then it's to look like this. And it literally looks like the whole backside is exposed. Now let me show you some recommendations. If you want high rise pants, I recommend them to be this high. Also make sure to cover this section. For shoes, I recommend them to be around this tall. By the way, these two bottom sections are for the bottom of the legs, so if you don't want shoes then don't fill in those sections. If you want jeans or real life shoes, then I'll link videos in the description to help you. Now delete the template and insert a transparent cutout one. Now you have pants. For t-shirts, there is no template, so instead of clicking on open image, choose create new, and make it 1000 by 1000. Make sure to name it. Now you can make designs. Now, to upload your clothes, click on file, save, and choose PNG. You can rename the clothes if you want. Okay now go to Roblox. Recently, Roblox allowed non-premium members to upload clothing, so you don't need any premium. You can now upload clothing for 10 Robux, but t-shirts can be uploaded for free. You just have to pay a one-time 10 Robux fee. So, once you are on the home page, click on create. Click on my creations or group creations. Depends if you are uploading for a group or for yourself. Go to shirts or pants or t-shirts. Click on choose file and find the clothes. Usually, I name the shirt to just shirt or test. Now you have to wait until Roblox moderates the clothing once you click on upload. Honestly Roblox moderation is weird because they can not allow a shirt just for its color. Anyways, once your shirt is uploaded, click on it, click on the three dots on top, and choose configure. Under general, you can change the name. Genre Description And even turn on or off comments. I always turn off comments because I don't want scams in the comments. If you go to sales, you can change the price and if the item is on sale. By the way, Roblox takes 30% of sales, so you get 70%. I recommend that you set your clothes to 5 Robux because then more people are likely to buy it. Once everything is done, click on save. Now you uploaded clothes. Now I will recommend some videos that I have used that helped me, like shading, making realistic shoes, and more. 
they will be in the description. So, credits to those people. Okay, so that's the end. If you found this kind of confusing, then I'll upload speed designs of me making clothes so you can see me making it. That's all for today. If you found this helpful or enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my Twitter and Roblox group. Thank you. Bye.